Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another World War II 172 scale video. Today we're going to look at a couple of uh, simple metal kits uh, for the Germans. Some little uh, Goliath demolition uh, vehicles. One pack has some soldiers. Uh, if you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. I just pre-opened these here. This instruction sheet came out of this one. Let's read about it there. So this has the little uh, trailer for the little Goliath. I've done some of these videos, uh, these vehicles before. And I, I like them, so I got some more. This is the little brand. This is what the package looks like. Very simple. Get them out. So there's the, the metal. Doesn't need to come out. See, it needs to be uh, soft metal, so it needs to be tweaked a little bit. There we go. Uh, here. Got to be careful trying to get those wheels on there. Got to use super glue. So it's the painting. Here's a close-up of it. Very cool little vehicle. There's lots of pictures of these from uh, World War II, with the, especially with the Allies capturing them. They're sitting on them, riding them. They look like they're having a good time. Uh, yeah, they made uh, hundreds of these, like over a thousand of them. And I think they had two different kinds, one with an electric motor and one with a gasoline motor, and they had to attach to it. It's radio controlled. From all the reports I've read, that they weren't too successful, but they kept using them. These were the small ones. There was a, an in-between one, which I haven't gotten anything in this scale, called the Springer, which was a bigger vehicle. And then the Borg Ward was actually something that was big enough for a driver, and that would have a demolition charge that they would let go and back away, or they could drive the whole thing into a vehicle. I've done some of those videos on that. So, so these are two different kits here. Here's some of the men. So he's holding the the spool because it would be uh, attached. And then this one's got the controller. So it'll be a challenge to do these on a nice little paint job. Set them on a tiny little diorama piece because they also make everything that it can be used on a war game board which can make a really nice diorama so they have the, you know one here ready to go off the and this one off the trailer where they're going to be using it so I guess technically you'd want to have a thin little wire to it and then sending it out I think uh, there's a little propaganda film showing this where the, the Germans, I think it's in the snow and on the Russian front, and they must have captured an SU-85 Russian tank destroyer, and they show it moving on up and hitting it and blowing it up. So these could be used for against fortifications and then supposedly other vehicles or where men are with an explosion. So. Kind of a nice cast here. Fair amount of detail for soft metal. Looks like they got a coat on. I have some with men before, but I don't know if they were the exact same type. One day I'll round them all up and put them all in one video. And if I can find it, I'll add the, the video that I already did, or at least one of them on, on here, the one that's already made up. Let's see his details on his face. Really nice, so. He's, 
probably prime these with black or gray and then uh, paint them up take a takes always takes a long time to do uh, figures and then put them on a nice little diorama base so usually use cardboard something maybe like about this size with them on it put little trees and bushes and so forth Have this with it or off to the side okay so it's a look at the Goliath demolition vehicle a little mini tank if you work it's just a tracked vehicle and that's a little hand-drawn trailer until next time, more World War II 172 scale. Thanks for watching, everyone.